I think of myself as a photographer and think about the meaning of the word, the luxury and the ability to perform magic by using light to create an image. I think of every photograph as being a bit of a self-portrait. So I think that the photographs should be not just what's in front of the camera, but also what's behind the camera, the photographer. You want to get the craft so it's second nature, and then you bring the magic into the process of revealing yourself that makes your image different from someone else's. I was inspired by photographs of the landscape when I first saw an exhibition of Ansel Adams, Edward Weston, and Wynne Bullock. I had never seen prints with such beauty. I had never seen a print that brought tears to my eyes. And that experience of seeing those original silver gelatin prints changed my whole idea of what photography could be. And seeing these original prints, I knew I wanted to pursue black and white photography. Black and white distills light, it distills form, it distills the world, it distills human beings to their essence. Ansel demanded a great deal of anyone that worked for him. But he never demanded more of you than he demanded of himself. He placed a great importance on the print as an object, as a thing of beauty, as a thing of value, as something that could transcend merely the visual experience. I want my photographs to use light to reveal something about what I experience in the landscape. I saw this stand of these beautiful corn lily plants, and it's actually in filtered sunlight which would not be what I would have thought would be effective. They're actually backlit, and what attracted me was the beautiful shapes of the corn lily plants, but what was the magic made me want to make the photograph was the light on the corn lily plants. I personally don't feel I have a photograph until I have a print. I like to take the print and live with it. That print just sits there and it whispers to you. Sometimes it has good news uh, and sometimes it's saying it didn't quite work. I don't know how to do that without a print. A print, it's like experiencing a fine meal, a fine glass of wine, a musical performance, a theatrical performance, any of those experiences compared to reading the review about them. I'll take the first-hand experience. And for me, a print is a first-hand, one-to-one experience with the image. The craft is a part of the process. The image is a completion of the process. The print is the fulfillment of the process, and it can last and speak for generations. If you're that serious about photography, that you invest great amounts of money and energy in your life, leave behind some permanent evidence of that enthusiasm, that passion, that obsession that made you want to be a photographer. As a photographer, I think you owe it to yourself to fulfill your passion by making prints. Those prints will be something that you can look back on and they will form the core of your photographic legacy.